multi plus two in parallel, parallel setup, 19 kilowatts of batteries. Here's the live display. Um, this is my home automation. So I can go and turn on my immersion heater. So I've got an upper and lower. Um, each one is uh, three kilowatts. So here's this, what we're doing right now. Turn the immersion heater on. You can see immediately three kilowatts is drawn from the grid. And then frantically the inverter's then catching up. You can see here it's ramping up and pulling more from the battery until this goes down back down to about 100 watts or something to meet that equilibrium. So it's slowly ramping up. This is slowly drawing, going back down from the grid until we're pulling the same amount from the battery as the grid's taking. So this will, should go all the way down to about 100 watts. It'll take a while. And the opposite will be true. When I remove that load, it will go down. It's taking quite a long time today. My wife might have her hair curlers on or something, which is altering the load. So it's working its way down. So now, if I turn off the immersion heater, so I've got my finger back over there. So the inverter is pushing out 4,000 watts nearly. You can see there's a load. And I'm going to switch off the immersion heater. So immediately, that 3,000 watts that the inverter was producing goes back out to the grid because it's got nowhere else to go. See my house loads are back down to sort of normal, which are quite high in my house, but there you go. I think the wife's got heated rollers on it though, so it's going up and down, it's not level. I'll do it when everyone's gone to work, I think. And there you see the point. It's still ramping down. We're still exporting to the grid here, even though it's not configured to export to the grid. Now it's finding equilibrium again, and it will hover around 20 watts or so. So even though I don't export to the grid, when there's massive changes, it has to dump that power somewhere, which is the grid.